Place your bets, you jackwagons! Brad the Big Noise Evans here on a solo mission. Uh, let it be back with me on Friday. Uh, so let's hop aboard the Hong Hong Plus Bus and get after it here on this uh, hashtag Tequila Tuesday. Can we just make it tequila every day? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Pour for four. Uh, and if you're not familiar with this podcast, this is the Feed 5 Podcast, and we're all about uh, getting rides uh, on the front seat of that plus bus. In other words, uh, what is our favorite wager or mine tonight? A plus 100 or greater across a landscape of sports books, and it is triple double time for the joker uh he's a smoker and a midnight toker yeah i'm talking about nikola Jokic uh to get that td against the phoenix suns in the nba playoff series plus 135 right now and uh, i didn't state it but i pulled this from DraftKings sportsbook and uh why do i think uh, that Jokic is going to get a triple double tonight uh well he's done it three times uh, here in the postseason, and he's done it not once, but twice against the Phoenix Suns uh, over the uh, entirety of the season, including the regular season. I mean, he's a guy averaging close to a triple-double here in this NBA playoff run, 30.7 points per game, 13.1 rebounds per game, and 9.2 assists per game yeah phoenix saw the four fewest opponent rebounds per game in the postseason and the fifth fewest assist per game but coming off that 53 point high and the little little forearm tap to the phoenix sun's odor there in the front seat which uh did not get him suspended but drew a twenty five thousand dollar fine uh, for Jokic, uh, I think he's going to go out there and do more damage in the other categories, not necessarily points. Uh, I think, you know, maybe 20, 25 points within that range he's going to finish with. But more than likely, he's going to get a hell of a lot more uh, than the suppressed rebound total he had in the last matchup. And the assists always right there around a dozen or 10 or so. So that's where the sticky point is uh, with this proposition. But gut feeling says... Nikola Jokic, ha, 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 the Joker gets a last laugh and gets a triple-double tonight at home against the PHX. With that on the board, let's get after it on this Tuesday with another edition of the Fade Five. Hi, right, Numero Cinco here on the countdown today. Uh, let's go to the diamond, shall we? And of course, when Shohei Otani toes the rubber, we have got to get some action on him in the strikeout category. So on this SGP, uh, just a couple of legs, and it's even money right now at BetMGM. I know what you think. Oh, he said even money. He may know something about gambling. I know that's been a point of discussion over the last week or so, uh, or it's plus 100 for you novices out there. It all means the same damn thing. And get over yourself for those uh, that are getting ruffled uh, by that kind of terminology. But Shohei, uh, I think, is going to live up to the show nickname and get at least seven strikeouts against the Houston Astros. And Taylor Ward, I'm going to parlay that with him, getting a hit. A guy that's been a bit of a hits machine here of late, especially against Framber Valdez, who he is going against in this game. Eight for 16 lifetime is a leadoff man for the Angels against him. Uh, and I know Valdez is season 2.60 ERA and a dynamite 9.00K per nine. And Ward is only batting 212 against Southpaws. But for whatever reason, ball off the hand, seeing the rotation just right and making some contact, and hopefully splitting a gap in the process. So Taylor Ward, get me a hit, and then let's go to Otani, shall we? Uh, he has registered at least seven strikeouts in five of seven starts this season. And what's really fascinating is his call plus swinging strike percentage, lowest right now on pace in his career. It's at 23.4%, that's it but a 13.62K per nine. So he is closing dudes out. Uh, Houston uh, has been one of the tougher teams to strike out this season. Uh, they are bottom 10 in terms of highest strikeout rate over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's tough punching out the likes of Kyle Tucker and Jordan Alvarez uh, and uh, also Mr. Abreu and friends there. But uh, I think here in the end, 
Shohei Otani gets some plus strikeouts. Taylor Ward gets a hit at plus 100 at BetMGM. Come along for the ride. Numero cuatro on the feed five today. Uh, I'm going to go to Kansas City, uh, taking on the Southsiders, who had that slight little resurgence, and then last night occurred. Uh, and it all went terribly south for Dylan Cease uh, in that game. And, of course, I was on the White Sox, and I was on the White Sox money line, and that was the only leg that lost in uh, that very handsome SGP, which uh, got beaten to a bloody pulp. Uh, but I believe tonight Salvador Perez is going to tattoo at least one pitch offered in this game and get over one and a half total bases. Again, it could be one swing, uh, could be a double or a home run. Uh, and if it's a triple, then the world is going to end from Salvador Perez at this point in his career, especially given uh, probably, presumably, Ricky D's. But uh, I like this match quite a bit because of his history against Lucas Giolito of the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Giolito, respectable, 3.670 array, but the 4.54 XFIP suggests a correction could be on the horizon. And as a result, Perez uh, could really take off. He's 13 for 31 versus Giolito in his career. And of those 13 hits, seven have gone for extra bases. And of those seven that have gone for extra bases, four have eclipsed a fence of the long ball variety with a 1,323 career OPS against Giolito. And Perez has logged at least two bags in four of his last seven games. So punish the baseball, Perez. Let's cash your ticket in the end. All right, moving on here on the Fade 5 Podcast, like numero trace. Uh, of the show today, uh, let's the work of the SGP in this Nuggets and Suns game. And I'm going to take Denver down and go with an alt spread of minus two and a half. And on uh, alt team total, I say they score at least 110 points. You slap those two together, minus 115 juice there at BetMGM. May not be the sexiest now. I'm not really working my shoulders again, seduced by the juice. Uh, this could be embarrassing to some of you, but I'm trying to win a damn ticket in the NBA because uh, it has not exactly been profitable for your boy uh, here in recent, uh, at least acquaintances with the sport. But regardless, I like the Nuggets tonight. They're at home. They are number three in total net efficiency uh, in this NBA postseason. Uh, Jokic, of course, dodged that suspension, and they've been putting up points. Uh, they've gone for a buck twenty-five. 97, so the lone under on this all total, 114 and 124 in this series. So three of four games, they have registered at least 110 points. And here's the other takeaway I want you to think about. Booker and Durant have been godlike uh, in the absence of Chris Paul, taking on so much responsibility. They have been peak efficient as a result. Is that sustainable? I don't think it really is. Uh, so I think Denver tonight uh, takes care of business inside Ball Arena and uh, also issues a swift kick to the huevos of the competition. So give me the Nuggets minus two and a half on that all spread. And give me the Nuggets to score at least 110 points. Again, minus 115 at BetMGM. Go off, Jokic. All right, numero dos here on the Fade 5 Podcast. I'm going to live in the land down under. So cue the minute work there on Tyrese Maxey. Uh, not going to really uh, deliver on his last name in the three-point category. Under two and a half, made three. Is it even money? At DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh, you look at Maxey, what he has done uh, against the Boston Celtics in this series. Uh, two, one, three, and two. So he's been under in three or four. Uh, then you go a little bit deeper. You say, okay, what do you do with the regular season against Beantown in threes? One, zero, zero, and two. So in totality, he has been under two and a half main threes in six of seven matchups this season against the Seas. And I think that trend is going to continue. Uh, though you look at Maxi's uh, draining nearly 40% from distance here in this NBA postseason. Boston also has allowed the fifth, fifth most three-pointers made uh, over the playoffs, 13.6 per game at 37.5% of a clip. So, again, uh, the matchup on paper favors Maxi and the over here. 
But looking at that plus money, that even money on the under and the history over the full spread of the season and that under hitting more often than not, I'm going to say the trend will be thy friend on that under. All right, number one today on the Fade 5 podcast. And this is a wager that I've uh, consistently made and a wager that I consistently made some cash money on, fools. And that is Kevin Durant on the over block shots. A number sitting one and a half uh, against the Denver Nuggets at plus 120. Yeah, worth those shoulders, friends at DraftKings Sportsbook. You look at what KD has done in this series. Three. Two, two, and one. So he's been over in three or four. He included the pair of bouts that he faced the Nugs in the regular season, uh, in which he went over in one and under in the other. He's been over this prop in four of six matchups against the reps from the Mile High City. Uh, you look at Denver in the NBA postseason, eighth most, so really middle of the pack, and blocks per game allowed, surrendering 4.8 in that category. So one swat. Two swats. That's all I need uh, in those very expensive seats where uh, rich billionaires sit and make it, again, forearm shivered in the process, uh, whether it's a ball arena or there in Phoenix. It doesn't matter. KD, what does matter is, I believe, hit the over on one and a half block shots tonight, plus 120 at DraftKings Sportsbook. And you know, before we get out of here, I got to work in some bonus time. Uh, what are some other wagers I like? Uh, maybe it's in the NBA. Uh, maybe it is in Major League Baseball. And it's certainly not in college baseball. I know I'm not a coach, but it seems to be epidemic right now that players, coaches are wagering on uh, college baseball games and getting shit canned in the process. How dumb are you? That's all I ask. And uh, that's kind of a rhetorical question, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, but back to the diamond. Uh, I like the other on Max Scherzer tonight. Uh, Mad Max, not exactly uh, insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Uh, by the numbers he is posting so far this season, he's drawn the Cincinnati Reds tonight. And we're thinking, oh, man, he's going to be punching uh, Mr. Red Legs out left and right. Mrs. Red Legs, too. She's got to sit on the pine after swinging and missing a multitude of times, but I don't think he's going to get over six and a half strikeouts in that matchup uh, against the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, you look at Cincinnati, uh, they are number 25 right now in Major League Baseball in K rates over the last couple of weeks, striking out just 19.9% of the time. So they've been more contact heavy here of late as they were punching out a ton early and often. Uh, and Scherzer is a uh, velocity on the fastball has been slightly down. He got rocked coming off that suspension against his former employer in the Detroit Tigers. He has gone six K's, two K's, six K's, three K's and two K's and all five rotation turns. So he's yet to reach seven strikeouts. Uh, not only that too, but you look at the numbers and it, it's not like he's been unlucky. Uh, guy is 5.56. ERA uh, on the season at 5.58 XFIP. So, you know, the ERA really matches the drapes in that scenario. 13.6 barrel rate allowed this year, which is unscherzer like, and a 40.9 hard hit percentage as well. So, I uh, put it all together the fact that Scherzer is uh, yet to the over on this prop, the fact that Scherzer has been rocked early and often this year, and to the fact that the Cincinnati Reds are not as free swinging and missing as they were earlier this season. And I think the under 6.5K is minus 120 at DraftKings hits on Max Scherzer tonight. Uh, elsewhere in Major League Baseball, uh, let me work in my Team Wales Parlay play of the day, and we're going to go out west. And I use uh, the boost button there at DraftKings Sportsbook on this. They offer it every single day on parlays that you can do, whether SGPs, uh, or some of the other action that's out there. But give me Wilmer Flores to get a hit. Give me uh, Thoro Estrada to also get a hit. And give me the Giants to win straight up against the Washington Nationals. All three of those legs hit with that profit boost. Plus 174. Yeah, it gets seduced by that juice. 
at DraftKings Sportsbook. You look at the matchup here. That's Patrick Corbin. And and I know the Cubs made him look like uh, the you know, first ballot Hall of Famer last time he towed the rubber. Uh, but that was very uncharacteristic of who Corbin is, which is usually a pitcher that serves it up on a silver platter. And you look at Wilma Flores in his career against Corbin. Uh, guy's got market success. 15 for 43. That's a 349 batting average. He's logged a hit in three of his last four games. You look at Estrada. He's only faced Corbin one time, and he's over. Uh, but a uh, guy that's 13 for 42 uh, against left-handed pitching this season, and he is registered to hit in 11 of his last 12 games. And you got San Francisco, who's uh, won seven of their last 10 home games. And Washington has lost. The Nationals have lost seven of the last 10 home games, or road games, I should say, in San Francisco. And they did get the win last night and throttled uh, Anthony Desclafani. But, again, Wilma Flores, uh, who's done a marvelous job, hitting well north of 300 against lefties this season, he gets a hit. Estrada gets a hit. And San Francisco on the money line, you see the juice there, at plus 174. Elsewhere, real quick, before we get out of here on this edition of the Fade of Five podcast, I also like the New York Yankees. Over four and a half runs in total against the Oakland Athletics. A little heavier juice there at DraftKings at minus 140. Uh, Yankees have scored at least five runs in a game 13 times this season. Over the last couple of weeks, they're just number 20 in Major League Baseball in total runs scored. Uh, but it's all about picking on Drew Rosinski of the Oakland A's and 9.1 innings pitch. He's given up eight earned runs, two homers and walk six dudes. Uh, Oakland as a team has a seven plus ERA. So if the Yankees can't break out of this offensive funk that they have been mired in uh, without Aaron judge in the lineup. Uh, I don't know if there is a remedy anywhere within sight for them uh, in the short term, at least they should go out there and bludgeon the Oakland A's tonight. So, so I like them on four and a half runs scored. Oh, and double bonus time. Uh, before I leave, uh, two long shot props I like tonight. Christian Yelich plus 285 to get a steal against Noah Syndergaard, who is the friendliest pitcher on opponent base pass. Uh, he's given up nine stolen bases in the National League uh, this season. That's number two in that league uh, that he has surrendered with a six plus ERA. Uh, yeah, you look at Yelich, uh, just a 324 on base percentage, base two for three, and stolen base to call it stealing opportunities. I think he gets a steal tonight. A respectable five for 20 lifetime against Noah Syndergaard. And then here's one that's way out of left field, and maybe that's where the ball is going to go uh, over that left field wall. Marcel Ozuna of the Atlanta Braves. I say he gets a home run tonight at plus 320. A guy that is also five for 20. Uh, with four home runs and nine RBIs uh, lifetime against uh, the Boston Red Sox opposing a pitcher uh, whose name I forgot to jot down. Oh, it's Nick Pavetta. So uh, as a result, I think uh, Marcel Azuna uh, could go absolutely berserk tonight. He's got 1,088 OPS as well. Uh, he's only number 178 exit below. But what is fascinating is when he applies bat to ball, it's usually a heavy hit. 13.1 barrel percentage and a 232 ISO, which is outstanding. Six long balls a season, despite that wretched batting average to his name. So Marcel Asuna, I say he gets a home run tonight at plus 320 available at DraftKings Sportsbook. All right, I'm out of time here on the fade. Five podcast. Do me a favor, would you kindly uh, drop us a rating or review if you enjoy this podcast so feed or follow us on the twitter uh, i could check uh, lundy out at nate lundy he's got a free spreadsheet and all his picks in there i do the exact same exercise at noisy huevos again lundy will be back with me on friday until next time as always feed or follow that is up to you